Good morning, everybody. Wow, well, I don't know why I'm laughing. Good, it's my voice, I think. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Fish with Bish. We're on the Horseshoe Lake at Elf Church. Again, uh, not fish this lake. As far as I can remember, I may have done a long, long time ago. But this lake is heavily fished as a match, uh, match fishing. We're fishing on a Monday. Reason for my voice is England played on Saturday, didn't they? So um, I was shouting a bit, to be honest. Right, um, if you have a look there, Spartacus is on 10, I'm on 11 on the horseshoe lake. I've got the usual suspects, I've got maggots, I've got corn. They don't allow any kind of meat here, which is fair enough, so you just follow the fishery rule. So didn't even bother bringing anything like that at all. So, um, I've got, just run through it again, sorry, I've got maggots, I've got corn, um, I've got fishery pellets, I've got fishery micros, I've also got fiduca neons, uh, fiduca naturals, and also I've still got some of the prototype tre treble X's, which I will be using during the day. Uh, trying not to make this a fiduca video again, but uh, as part of my arsenal when I go fishing now, I, I can't knock it guys, you've seen the proof, so... Um, Dad's in again, he's just had a lovely mirror. Let, let's just go over. People have been asking for more of uh, Spartacus, God knows why. Right, so let's hope he keeps this one on. Same spot, Dad. Dad's having them already in the, in the margins, yeah. ain't you, Dad? I just, in front of you. just in front of you. All right, so I've got a bit of proper cameraman now, Dad. Oh, and I'm panning left and panning right. You seen him yet, Dad? No. no. So, yeah, people have been asking for more of Spartacus. Uh, I might give him his own show. We'll give him a compilation show because he only ever catches Gudgeon. So, I'm sure this is a Gary Gudgeon. Watch you the bend on that rod. I think it's a sweet bend. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a carp. He's, he's doing the circle, isn't he? So Dad fishes fairly fairly straightforwardly. Um, never fished the pole really, Dad. You've never liked it, have you? So um, yeah, there we go. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just, let me just, can you take your bail arm off, Dad? So, just show you this in the net. And this is what? Third fish, Dad. Fourth yeah. fish. He's had a couple of perch, and he's had two yeah, lovely... No, it's all right, done now. You want to put that back. Yeah, you asked for it, you got it. Spartacus on tour. Right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Fish with Bish Cam. Right, I've now got a pellet on, uh, just for identification, it's a um, Fajuca Natural, um, just throwing some of that fishery pellets in, and drop this in, We've got really, it's really windy today and there's a bit of a tow, so um, is first put in on the horseshoe. Uh, I have put a bit of bait in. I'm just about to dampen the micros and put a bit of a, a what in. I just thought I'd get out there and have a very quick look, see if there's anything out there. Oh, that looked like a bit of a bite to me. And so we've got a few things going against us today. Uh, a bright sun. Fished hard over the weekend and we had all that rain as well, so through the night. So we'll have to wait and see. That's why it's called fishing and not catching. There we are, and we're in. So we're half decent. Oh, it's come off. There you go, though, guys. A bit of perseverance, a bit of chopping and changing. Let's get that back in. 
with a few maggots over the top of it. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know why it makes me laugh so much. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I have. One of them brain. I tell you what, they'd make themselves so much popular if they just carried that on. Oh my god, come on fella. Come on. In you come. In you come. You've gi <laughs> you've given us a show. That's a nice spring. Nice spring. Oh, let's have a look at him. <laughs> oh, that did make me laugh. I don't know why. Uh, right, let's have a look. Let's see where the hook is. Let's see where I am on depth wise. Oh, look at that. It's right in the corner. So I'm not too far off there. Come on, you're a brain, calm down. So, there he is, look. Lovely fish. Dad! Lovely fish. Oh, let's uh, just get him back. So, let's get them nuggets off. Clean the slime off the, the hook length. Never, never, ever leave bream slime on your hook length, guys. It's not that it's against the law. I'm making myself laugh today. I don't know. I'm on the happy pills. Um, it's not against the law or anything, but I just think that they produce it as an alarm thing. So if they're producing it as an alarm thing, and it's on your hook link, the fish are going to stay away, aren't they? But there you go. Right. Try three maggots this time. Uh, I'm dropping the... I'm going to split the shot. And that might give it a bit more stability in this wind. It's not a heavy float, obviously, anyway. I think if I, if I have to change, I'll go for a heavier, a heavier float, so. Let's just drop that in there. Ah, that's it, I got it sorted now. And as I say, it's a bit windy, so, and there's a bit of a drag on the water as well, so. Not quite trotting. That's stopped dead, that is, so I'm, a, I'm thinking there might be a fish interested in that underneath. And there we go, I'm in. So, maggots are doing it to start off with. Whether they'll be on them all day, I don't know, but... Uh, let's get to my top kit, because he's not pulling that much. This isn't a... This isn't a broom. Let's keep them down low so I can get them closer. We'll have a look. Let's try lifting him. See what we got. No, he ain't going to be ready yet. This is a carp, this is. It's not a particularly big one, though, I don't think. I got the 8 to 10. Uh, Matrix Silk Green on my favourite, favourite um, elastic. Uh, closely followed by, I've got the orange, I think it's 10 to 12. Um, and I might have to step up to that if these are the quality of the fish coming in. Let's have a look at him. Oh, he's beautiful. Beautiful mirror. Yeah, I'm on a mirror now. 
So it's another, another pull, and that should be him. Let's get his head up. He's nearly there, he's nearly ready. There he is. And he swam in. Thank you, sir. It's very kind of you. Quality fish at Alf Church. Um, I think the answer to my own question of are they on are they on the feed or are they they off it? I think they're actually on it. Since I've changed the shotting pattern, that um, I'm not getting the bite, so I'm going to change it back again. if that makes any difference. Change the shutting. And that looks like there's a bite that's straight away. Yeah, it's just those small things. Right, so. It's a half decent fish. He knows where he's going. Yeah, I think what I might have to do, guys, is change to the orange elastic. Quite a big fish for this 8 to 10. We keep that low. Alright, it seems to have done his run. So now I'm going to put a bit of See what it is. A gamble that it's a carp. There's some nice barbel in here as well. What a lovely day's fishing. A few moments later. It's a big eye this far. Nice mirror. Let's get him up. There he is. And his ass. We've got him, guys. We've got him. Right then. There he is, guys. Look at that. Beauty. Let's get him back. Right, guys. Um... Not, not done this before. I keep meaning to, but there's um, there's a guy on uh, YouTube, 
um, and he's, he's he's a really good match fisherman. He does training days. He's a coach, um, and I think he's a matrix. I, I might be wrong, but I think he's a matrix consultant called Johnny Arthur. Right, a lot of you, you watch, obviously, if you're watching my video on YouTube, you're going to watch this guy because he's he's much better than me. But what he says is. When people are fishing a match, they've got the nets in front of them. So when food goes in, it goes in sort of in front of the fisherman. So, he's, what it is, when he starts a match, on certain venues, I've not seen him do it on all venues, but on certain venues, what he'll do is he'll, he'll drop a line first thing while he's having a look at everybody else in front of him, just in front where the nets would be, the keep nets would be. Uh, and obviously there's been matches on Saturday and there would have been some on Sunday. There looks like there's interest there. I've just thrown some um, some micros in. Uh, and there's a neon on the hook. And there we go, guys, we're in. Well, Mr. Arthur, my hat's off to you, son. Thank you very much for that tip. And there's, look, there's more down there. Wow. Well, that's really interesting, that is. That is me Johnny Arthur manoeuvre. And you know what? I think from now on I might use that as me first put in. It's not a bad fish to be down there either. Oh, hello. Well, that's neons fished over. Oh my God, come on. Oh, no, he's away. He's just woke up, I think. Oh, that's neons fished over my crows. A top kit in front of me. I think I might need a bigger rook. Don't know about big about. I've only got a size 16 on here, guys. What I might have to do is put a 14 on, I think. No bigger than that. Oh, hello. What a cracking fish. going under the leg then. I think he did and all. Right, here we go. How about that then guys? Say that Mr Arthur. That's my hat off to you. And also my hat's off to Fuke for the neons. Oh. <laughs> Hello fella. Well, I'm not even going to attempt to lift this one up, guys. Um, look, if you look at that, guys, size 16, look, right in the scissors. Just shows you, you don't need massive hooks to catch big fish. Right, here we go. Let's, uh, for Duke of Pink Neons. Wow. Right, let's get him back. And I'll tell you what, Mr. Arthur. It worked. As I said about the, about the film, I've got to watch the battery, but whoops, we can call them again. Let's drop that in and see how that works. I'll try to do it without editing, which will only work if it's pretty instant, man. Right, and there we go. So obviously that was a <laughs> dear. We saw that. I'm gonna have to leave that bit in with that's not edited. Um, 
We'll see what the stamper fish is, whether it's a smaller fish or is it down there waiting for that or Not quite as big, but it's still a decent size. <coughs> oh, all right, fella. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's not good wagging your tail at me, mate. Depth's bang on. There he is, guys. Right, so let's get him back. Right, so we've seen one on the neons, we've seen one on the. You know, can you see him? Um, not happy, I'm starting there he goes. Right, so. Let's try another natural. Um, they are what they say they are, they, they come in weird shapes and and sizes. I can't show you the bag but, but guys because they I was sent them as a a leech on me there. Um, they were sent me as a, you know, a, a plane envelope. That don't sound good, does it? They were sent me in a plain uh, plastic bag. So, right, let's try. To, I keep meaning to go on the on the one that I've rested, but this is more fun, isn't it? So, just in front of me. Drop that in. There's, there's definitely, uh, obviously, the wind, but there's a bit of a toe on the, on this as well. So, as I say, it's a lot of fun, and it's, you know, when you you find something new to do. I'm gonna have to give John a proper what's it on a, a proper, proper thank you. But give this a go, guys. I've um, I've kept meaning to do it because it makes sense to me when I when I hear guys t say things on on their videos and stuff like that. I'm a great believer in oh, especially the uh, the match guys because they fish so so much and so often. When they find things that work. They're not. They're gonna use it. So I don't know why I've not tried this before. But you've seen the quality, the stamp of the fish that have been, that I've had. Not six foot from the bank, and there's a lot of people fishing. A lot of them are feeding the method. Um, I don't see a lot coming out, to be honest. Yeah, so if you watch uh, people like, uh, as I say, John or Andy May, um, Jamie Hughes, Des Ship, uh, I could, Andy Power, I could go on and on and on. Jamie Harrison, I think he's also Matrix. Um, and then we're in again. Oh, hello. And we're in again. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm jumping brain. He's the jumping brain again. <laughs> they make me laugh so much. Because if they if they kept that up, they'd be such a popular fish to catch. But they've got a bad rep. Um, yeah. So uh, as I say, with all these guys, what you have to do is you have to listen to what they've got to say, and then take the bits that work for you. 
obviously some of it's not relevant because they're match fishermen as opposed to a pleasure fisherman which I am um, having said that guys <laughs> there are going to be some fish with bish match uh, videos coming up uh, during the summer holidays uh, and let me have a look at this guy we'll have a look at him um, in the summer holiday so there's <laughs> something to look forward to me making an idiot of myself because I have no I have no uh, worries or qualms that I'm any good at match fishing and I never never ever will say there I am but um, I just think it'd be a fun thing to do and have a go to be fair All right, here we are with the brain look if you fought this far hard out there as I say, you'd be far more popular than you are. Oh, for God's sake. When you're ready. That was also, this was also caught on the naturals. On them few naturals, which really, if you keep still now. I've had enough now. Um, there he is, guys. Nice brain. Nice, nice brain. Got them nodules on his head from uh, spawning. They've not long spawning. He's not that slimy, to be honest. But there we go. Let's get him back. Um, what am I saying? I can't remember what I'm saying. Oh God. I got sidetracked by a brain. <coughs> yeah, I have no illusions that... Um, that I'm, I'd make a rubbish matchman, but for the fun of it, guys, I'm going to have a go. I do miss the, uh, I do miss the banter and the. Mind you, having said that, get the banter off him, off Spartacus. But um, I do miss like the laugh and the and the competitiveness, really, because there aren't many, there aren't many sports. Oops, there aren't many sports where a man of my distinguished years can compete it and sit alongside sometimes some of the best the best fishermen uh, let's try as I say the Johnny Arthur I've not seen any of the others say this do this do this maneuver
Um, I don't know whether it's because it is the natural and not that big, the big bait. Get in the brain. That's a fact, I'm just looking at where my where my top kit joint is. It's there. So let's drop it back to where it should be on the joint. Now let's see if that small amount, what would that be? Four or five inches? Not even that makes the difference. I've got to be honest, my gut instinct will tell me that it will make the difference because there was no bite, there was nothing there. No movement on the button, there we go. It's crazy, isn't it? Just, just those small dis differences that will make a difference, by the, basically. Definitely pick that up. And we're in again, guys. On the natural. At the moment, most of my videos are turning into a Fuca, a Fuca fest. Um, and I am genuinely not sponsored by them. Although I do get the baits to try, because obviously I do the videos. But they, they just seem to work. Now, whereas I would have an expander here, I don't need to because I've got the naturals which look like a penny which are an expander that you haven't got to prepare it's on your comes in a bag you can swap them into seal, sealable bags I keep mine in sandwich bags to be honest guys can keep him under control. Still not seeing him. He's uh, staying quite low. The only issue is fishing that close in and straight in front of you is uh, is that, that they come in, obviously. So I'm just gonna feed there. Oh, it's come off. Oh well. That's why it's called fishing. Let's see if we've still got the oak. We have still got the up guys, but I'm thinking what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to change the hook. So I'm going to stop you, change the hook to a 14 with a smaller, uh, a 
a smaller length there. Well, just come over to Dad. Just come over to Spartacus. Just hold the net underneath him, Dad, please. And then get him. Oh, I got him. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. I got him. I'm going to hold him sort of in the net. All right, all right, fella. Right, there you go, guys. How about that, man? How about that for a broom? Well done, Pop. They're, they're not very slow, are they? No. They're, they're, the bigger they're, one, Well, no, they're, I think uh, they've got the nodules on. So, like, I think they've just come off spawning. Oh, there we go, guys. How about that then? <laughs>